Oh no! You little bitch! What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon, Dragon Squad? Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborne. And we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair. And this is a quick reminder to shop around on our Teespring account, cop our merch, links in the description down below. And also, if you want to know how to make some badass logos, intro videos, things like that for your videos, click our Fiverr link down below as well. Thank you so much. Now, with that being said, what's on the fucking menu for today, Glacier? I'm super excited, stoked for uh, The Witcher, Season 1, Episode 2, Four Marks. Four Marks. And uh, just so you know, I uh, got pretty good with the names. I remember last episode, I fucking suck with names, but I got them pretty down packed. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder, guys, hit the subscribe button, join the Dragon Squad. We're trying to reach our goal of 500 subscribers and beyond, so take a couple seconds. And in the meantime, here's some dragons doing some clean ass shit. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. And remember, it doesn't matter if you have the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're, you're a dragon. dragon. Now, quick recap, because this first episode is all about character introduction and setting the tone for the show. And uh, two paths destined to cross. So on one hand, we have Geralt, who's a witcher. Yep. And um, he was hired by Strigamore, who's a powerful wizard, who is, um, apparently his life is being threatened by this uh, princess slash swordsman named Renfri. But little did Geralt know that he already met Renfri earlier in the episode at a bar. And uh, they have some kind of a, you know, a connection, an attraction, if you will. Yep. And she approaches him, offering Geralt to kill Strigobor. Yep. So now Geralt's stuck in the middle of killing the wizard or killing the swordsman. And he actually prefers not to kill either of them. And um, Renfri was so obsessed with killing Strigobor that she ended up, you know, fighting Geralt herself and ended up, you know, being killed. Right, kind of reminds me of, the, remember the, that movie with the two building the two towers and one of them was like owned by morgan freeman and i think the other one was some other guy oh yeah there's a movie called um lucky number Slevin. yes i do remember that one yeah. and then with that being said strigobor went there to try to do an autopsy on the body and uh Geralt, or Geralt didn't like that one bit, oh. and you know because of that, you know the townspeople who don't like witches already, pretty much Strigobor. I don't know if he uses wizard, wizardry or his magic to get the crowds to you know up in arms and throw stones at Geralt and pretty much shame him. But you know that's how Geralt's story ended after, yeah. of course, brutally murdering murdering Renfri's you know henchmen. Yeah. When I, mean, I say brutally, I mean holy fuck. Oh, that's nasty. Meanwhile, over in the kingdom of Sentra, you have Ciri, who's a princess, and then uh, Queen uh, Calanthe, I believe. And, you know, their kingdom is under attack by Nerfgard. When it comes to Nerfgard, you know, they have this big war. Nerfgard takes over the kingdom of uh, Sentra. And pretty much, if you get taken over by Nerfgard, your choices are either A, escape, B, kill yourself, or C, get captured and endure a torture hitherto undreamt of. Wait, did you just say hitherto undreamt of? Uh, yeah. I understood that reference. But with that being said, never a good thing if you get you know caught by the kingdom of Nerf Guard, especially with that fucking archer that's uh, part of that kingdom where he reminds me of that fucking elf from Lord of the Rings where he'll headshot your ass and not even think twice about it. If he sees you and he points his arrow at your head, you're fucking dead. Yeah, you're dead. And you know, Princess Ciri has these really froggy powers that are unlocked when she you know realizes her kingdom is on fire, her parents are dead, or her grandparents, I should say, when she's, you know, Back up into a corner and unlocks her powers. She gets really froggy and she screams. And you know, if she screams and you're not wearing earmuffs, you're probably fucking dead. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, we're gonna go and jump right into this episode. Uh, Glacier, are you fucking ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. I've been ready since the intro when I saw him kill that big ass spider looking thing. So I wanna see what happens now. We're ready and our dragon squad's out there ready. So without further ado, let the reaction begin. <laughs> A daisy. Daisies are cheap. Damn. Even back in the day, they got girls that are high maintenance as fuck. Yeah. Where did it go? What? My daisy. Who's, Who's that? that? 
Now he smells of pig shit. You've been spying on us, you creep. Yeah, Pulse, look at him. Damn, bullies. <laughs> so, I you your father makes you. Oh shit, what happened? Flashback. I wonder if it was a flashback or if she like teleported. What? Yeah. What is all this? Well, it looks to me like you portaled it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, what? Okay. You know portals. If you could conjure that portal out of thin air, she'll be coming for you. She? Mm. She who? What's your name? Estra. Estra. Wait, what's your name? <laughs> She's like, bye. Bye, I'll run through this portal. Yeah. I can do it! Damn, they treat her like shit. People are assholes on her. Who's that? How much for a pig? Ten marks. Oh, a mark is like a form of currency. How much for this beast? Yeah, I bet four. Six. Four. So. <laughs> so Damn. fucked up. The pig was ten marks. Oh, man, you fuck. can't let them have her. Father of the year over here, fucking selling his daughter for four marks. It sounds cheap as fuck. Excellent. Damn, it's got a lot of built up rage. I don't blame him. What's he thinking about? No, don't do it. No, no, don't do it. You got powers. You got portal. What the hell? Yeah, just be ready to scream. You have to. Oh, okay. I see. He's trying to wash your hair. Shit. Oh yeah, muddy it up so it doesn't look so blonde. Stop right there. Shit. Wakanda forever. Oh, the poison. You mean that poison? She got like a little companion now, friend. No, not much of a talker, but hey, we'll probably keep you from eating some poisonous shit. A lady might get an abortion. Abort yourself! Oh, 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 <laughs> fuck off! I'm <laughs> fuck off! Just bring you all me three words or less. You fucking say They don't exist. <laughs> What don't exist? The creatures in your song. You're the Witcher, Geralt of Rivia. Called it. Oh, no, I want to turn her name on blast. I know, right? I beg you. Oh, no, your job. The devil. He's been stealing all our grain. It's like a side quest. Side quest mission. <laughs> oh, I could be your barker. Spreading the tales of Geralt of Rivia, the the butcher of Blaviken. Yeah, I'm this close to killing you. Yeah, <laughs> come here. Boom! <laughs> Your conduit moment created a new ripple in chaos, oh, reaching oh, me shit. here in our. She's like recruiting girls that know magic. Lift your stone without touching it. <laughs> She's like, oh shit! Yeah, she got it. I'm doing it. Your hand. <laughs> Oh no! What the fuck? This is the worst the case of arthritis I ever seen. To perform the magic trick, something's gotta be destroyed. Hence chaos. Daily late. Come on. Come on, daily late. Daily late. Lost a lot of blood, Piglet. Daily late. Sometimes a flower is just a flower. And the best thing it can do for us is to die. Metaphor. Pretty fucked up metaphor. That's fucked up. What you mean, like reference to her, like better off dead? Yeah. You are the flower in this metaphor. My name. It's Yennefer. 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 It's good to meet you properly. Lots were all like the people that escaped the uh, kingdom went to. Oh yeah. It's the refugees of century. You look like you've been through hell. <laughs> like you all think? of us. Like all of us. You look like you've been through hell. Fighting to defend that wretched bitch and her wretched family. Mother, stop. Yeah. Wasn't Queen Calanthe's fault? I have to apprentice. But I'll be ready when Sintra rises again. When Sintra rises again. To oh. order and dignity. Let's get you a fresh bear, why don't we? Yeah. That'd be wonderful. It was nice of her after she was talking shit about her mom or grandma. Yeah. But at the same time, Siri's getting perspective on what like the uh, common people think 
of the royalty of her you know, grandmother yeah. and the way the kingdoms ran. So she probably wasn't down there to walk in their shoes. Yeah, she's walking in their shoes. Pretty soon, literally. Shit! Oh. And two begins! What was that? Looks like a tiny cannonball from a... Oh shit! Damn! Damn. Trey fucking spear his ass. You talk. Oh, what the fuck? Of course I talk! You motherfucker goat. I am <laughs> the cell poison now! Oh, oh shit. shit. Did your motherfucker snowman? <laughs> and they're roasting each other. Damn. Oh no. Look into her. Still trying? It's so fucking creepy, like being able to hear like whispering voices. I'd be like, um, fucking stop. You take weeks to lift your stone. You can't bend water. Even if you were a beauty, still no one would love you. Wow. Cold blooded. You can read me if you like. Mm -hmm. A little bit of flirting, you see? Yeah, a little eye contact, a little flirtatious vibe. I mean, she runs away at night to portal to his ass to like, have a friend to talk to, see. so it's only a matter of time. You can yeah. see. And welcome back, Piglet. Piglet. <laughs> like, can't you call him our damn name? This trial tests your ability to control the ultimate expression of chaos. Catch lightning in a bottle. So like, can I just like figuratively catch lightning in a bottle? Oh shit, she got it now. I did it. Boom! Oh, oh no! no. Your turn. Oh no! She just took a lightning bolt to the fucking chest. Look at it. Don't fucking look at it. The strong amongst the weak. Oh shit. Oh no. Where the fuck am I? Oh shit. Oh, shit, no. Oh, no. Back. Quick, do you oh, oh, damn. Yeah, take that, pointy. This is necessary. I understand. As long as you understand that it won't be long before you follow me in death. Yes, even chaos is polluted. Chaos is the same as it's always been. Humans just adapted better. Yeah. You said adapt. Chaos is like the uh, theme of this episode. Yeah. Oh, I'm choosing to starve. My real father. He was half elf. Oh shit. Oh damn, I didn't know that. So I wanna was treating her like shit was her stepfather. That makes more sense. Yeah. Stepdad. Shit. Thousands of healthy lives lost. You've been working on her for months. Oh shit, Strigobor. You must be able to give me something. She's part elf. Damn, he was playing her. Oh, shit, what's happening? No, they were there, ambush. Get the fuck out, out of there. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, see her, get the fuck out of there. Oh. Oh no. You little bitch. Wait. Hey, rat boy, Is that night? Oh shit, oh, shit. That's a never mind. Run. Get the fuck out of there. That's the conclusion. They just let us go and you give all of Netley's coin to the elves. Look, I promise to change the public's tune about you. At least allow me to try. I will sing songs about you, Geralt. When a humble bar. That's kind of cool that a friend came back and grabbed her. Yeah. When the white wolf falls, you're an elf. Oh shit. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh shit, what she got? Staff. Oh shit. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, it's pretty badass. I like it. Good crack a smile, finally. 
Well, there we have it. Episode two, Four Marks, Glacier, what the fuck did you think? Well, it was a good episode. I mean, it wasn't as action-packed as the first episode, but I think I it agree. Just, I kind of felt bad for her, but I'm glad that she has some magic because now, you know, once she knows how to control it, she won't be able to take people's shit no more. Exactly. You know, definitely, you know, a slower episode, but you kind of, you know, we build on the mythos of the dynamic between the elves and the humans, where Geralt falls in the middle of all that, and then, of course, we meet Yennefer, not Piglet, Yennefer, get her name right. Her stepfather treats her like shit. Everybody else treats her like shit, but she found a place to call home with, I forgot who the leading uh, witch was, the lady, but you know, brought her into the, the Covenant of Witches and yeah. you know, was training them on how to control the chaos. I feel like that was the theme of this episode was controlling the chaos. Upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. And then meanwhile, you have Siri, you know, she was, you know, escaping, um, you know, fleeing the, her uh, kingdom and she ran across the, the refugees of whoever survived the attack. And, you know, they don't know who she is. They apparently don't fucking like the queen whatsoever. But, you know, they didn't know she was the uh, princess. So they took her in. She kind of see, saw the perspective of how the, the lower class people were living their life. Fortunately, the uh, little refugee camp was ransacked once again by the archer and Nilfgaard. And luckily, you know, he didn't find her. But yeah. the rat boy in the beginning of the episode, the rat boy that was originally helping her, apparently he's fucking elf too. So we're just finding all these people are secretly elves. And... I wanted to see where that leads. I feel like there's going to be some kind of a uh, conflict between the elves and the humans. You know, Geralt was, you know, on a little side mission, you know, getting, doing a little bounty to hunt a devil, running across this fucking uh, goat man. And uh, he actually had a little sidekick with him. I guess you can call him like the Ed Sheeran of the fucking time period. Yeah. Likes to sing, gets booed a lot, but, you know, good thing for Geralt, you know, they, they work together and now Geralt's got his own soundtrack. Yeah, he got his own soundtrack. Took his own your song to the witch -a. It's kind of got a nice little ring to it. All, all around, what do you give this uh, rating? What do you, how are you going to rate this uh, episode, Glacier? Yeah, even though it's a little bit slower, I, like I said, it was good character development. I understand where they're going, and I know the series is going to be action-packed. So, that being said, I'm still going to give it Dragon Certified. I agree. You know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So, there's going to be some episodes that are more character building than action. And I, I love this whole, you know, immersiveness of this world. I love the world building. So, I'm still going to give it a Dragon Certified. Fucking hit it. There we have it, guys. Another one in the books. Witcher episode two, four marks, and uh, I give this one very high marks. But the question is, what do you guys think out there in Dragon Squad land? Just like this episode was a little bit too slow for your taste, or do you enjoy the world building like we do? Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. Join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're at the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're, you're a dragon. dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blazed. And I'm Glacier, the Ice Swarm. And until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Oh,